Welcome to my Wix blog tutorial. Here I'm gonna be showing you how to create a blogs on Wix and it's very easy to do. I'm not big on introductions, so let's get started right away. So once you have your Wix account and you're on your main dashboard, what you can do is go to all sites right here. You can go to go to all sites, which is where I am now, but if you click there, either click on the create new site right here or here, they both go to the same spot, so let's do that now. All right, so here you can bring your ideas to life with AI. Me personally, I like doing it without. I think it's much easier and straightforward if you don't use chat. However, feel free to if you want. I'm just not going to be in this tutorial and you're gonna see why. It's pretty straightforward. So set up without chat. And for this, what type of website do you wanna create? We can type in blog. It is also gonna be down there. I'm just gonna click on blog right here and continue. All right, so what would you like to call your website? Simply add it in here. Since my channel is Marketing Island, I'm just gonna call this Marketing Island Blog. Click on Continue. And for this, you know, not a super important deal here. We're gonna be using a template anyway, so if you wanted to do something here, you can check it off. But for me personally, just creating a blog, I'm gonna go with Skip. All right, for this, I just want the blog. That's gonna be the main purpose of this tutorial, obviously. So I'm gonna uncheck Instagram feed. Feel free to keep it on if needed, but blog is gonna be most important here. So I'm gonna have that checked off and let's click on continue. All right, you're all set. Let's continue to dashboard. All right, so here we are. Now we can actually go through, pick a template that we like and design our website. So let's click on the top right here where it says design site. And for this, once again, you can go with utilizing AI, but I'm just gonna choose a template. Wix has a lot of templates for creating blogs and that's a good thing. So there's gonna be a lot for you to pick from. So I'm gonna go with pick a template. And what I wanna do under search all templates, just type in blog and enter. If you'll notice, there's gonna be plenty of them. Now, some tips here, because you can obviously go with any template you like. Just because something says travel and you're not in a travel niche, doesn't mean that you can't use that one. This is more about picking one where you like the layout, you like the settings, and you can go in and easily change things around to maybe add your logo, your brand, and then just simply add blog posts from there. So I have already gone through and looked for one that I wanna be using. And for this, this is a perfect example. When we find one that we wanna maybe use, you can go here and just simply click on view. So what I like about this one is that it's clean, it's simple, and it's really all about your blog post. We have our homepage, we have our about page, then all the blogs are just gonna be underneath. And you'll notice once again, this is for fashion, and for me example, I'm Marketing Island, I'm about marketing and software. It doesn't make a difference because we can change this around, and what's gonna be different here is obviously say the title and the logo, and of course the blog posts are gonna be geared towards you and what you're doing. So I'm gonna use this one, let's click on edit this site. If you didn't wanna use a specific template, you can go to back to templates here and find a different one. And once you do, simply click on edit this site. All right, and right when we're getting started, it's gonna to ask to enhance your AI content. Me personally, I don't think we really need this. I'm gonna click off X. All right, so here we are in the Wix dashboard editor where we can create our blog. And if you're wondering why it's so small, it usually does that just so you can see more of it. You can always do is just click on right here to zoom in for 100%. And now you can see what it looks like. We have all the blog posts here, which they're just loading, which is why it looks blurry. And we have the bottom. So I'm gonna do a few cosmetic things like change the header and the footer and everything else is pretty much just going to be the blog post. So we have our section right here with some text. Maybe we wanna change this around so that it's a logo. What we can do here is go to add elements. We can go to an image here and we can do upload and import. We can do upload an image right here. So I'm going to click on this and here I'm going to upload from my computer. I'm just going to get my logo. If you don't have a logo, you can always change around the text too. So I'll show you how to do that. All right. So this is going to be the logo. I'm just going to do add to page very quickly. And you're going to notice it's right there. Now, if we did want to change this, you can double click here and this change this to like say island, you know, something like that, right? So that's how you can go about doing that. Now, let's say we want to delete this because we have our logo. I'm just going to click on it once. And I'm going to hit backspace. What that's going to do, as you can see, is it's going to delete it. So now we have our logo to work with right here. And we can probably center that so it looks a little bit better. This can be moved maybe up a little bit more just so we remove a lot of the spots here. You can also remove that social bar if needed to. That's up to you. This is a lot of like the aesthetics things that I don't wanna to spend too much time on, but just kind of showcasing how you can change it around. So that's gonna be our header there, not too bad. The good thing about this is that this is all gonna be pretty much blog posts. We don't have a lot to do here until we actually start creating them. Then we have the bottom. Like for example, let's say we don't wanna add a uh, like a social, or excuse me, a subscribe bar. I can click on this and just hit delete. Same thing with these aspects here. I'm gonna click on the specific social bar and delete. Same thing with this right here, all these little sections and delete. What we can also do is make it smaller once we get some also some text in there as well as I do it now. So I'm gonna click on add elements 
And what I'm gonna do is put text right here and let's say we wanna do I'm a paragraph, let's click that. And you're gonna notice how it's gonna show up right here. I'm just gonna make it the full length for a specific reason so we can center it easily. And what I wanna do is click on this, double click, and you're gonna notice it's gonna be right here. So what we can do is first and foremost, alignment is gonna be center. And what this can be is say like maybe a contact section. So just as an example, or maybe you want to link to other spots, it could be your social media platforms, uh, anything else. What we can do is also highlight this here and we can go to our link. And this is just simply gonna say, let's just say it's gonna go straight to an email. So it could be like email at email.com, whatever your email is there. And we can do the, hey there, what's up? As I spell it incorrectly, so hey there. Whatever it's going to be, right? If we want to link to anything else, you can do it to a Wix page or a web address. For example, that could be like social media, but that's gonna be how you can add links to the bottom there in the footer section. So should be pretty easy to figure out after that, right? So let's do that, let's click on save. And I'm just gonna preview it very quickly so you can see what it looks like. All right, there we go. So we have our logo there. We do have some social icons. You can link those to obviously to your specific spot. These are just like the fake blog sections. And of course we have our contact. Anything else can be down there, privacy policy, terms, social, whatever it's going to be. All right, great. Now we can actually focus on the blog section. And this is very simple to do. We have set up the header and the footer of our blog. Everything else comes down to just adding your blog post and some of the details that go with it. So, all right, and so we are pretty much home free. The best part about this is that it's just gonna be adding your blog post and then of course adding some settings to them and so on and so forth. So since we are on our homepage, what we can do is hover over this main blog feed section. And if we do that, we can click on manage post right here. Now you notice we have no published posts. The ones you saw there were just like demos. They're not actually really there, but what we can do now is create a new post, which is gonna be right here. All right, and so here's the cool thing. It has AI suggested post topics. So just to make my life easier, instead of writing out a complete article, I'm gonna do this and show you how it works. I'm gonna go with content strategy tools blog and I do write with AI. Sure, it looks good. It already has a nice description there. Let's say it's gonna be 500 to 1,000 words. We can do neutral, you can do professional, casual. Let's say we wanna do casual, right? Number of images, one is fine. We have some more preferences in case you wanna do anything else like that. Let's do next. And let's see, title, unleashing the power of content strategy, must have tools for your blog success. Uh, I think that's gonna be fine, given the fact this is about marketing and software, this specific blog example, right? So let's do create post. And let's give it a second while it goes, and when it is done, I will get back to you. All right, and just like that, we have a nice little blog post here, Unleashing the Power of Content Strategy, talking about some keyword research tools. We have like SEMrush, Ahrefs, Content Calendars, Grammars, SEO plugins. I'm not gonna say uh, this picture probably could be a little bit better. You can tell it's made with AI, so uh, I'm not gonna like change too many things about that, but I will show you how you can add in some things to your blog post, okay? So we have settings right here. We also have add. This is gonna be an important section. So here we have like say keyword research tools. Ironically enough, I do have a review on one of these. So let's say we want to embed a video. We can do that as well. So oops, I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's click on video first. Let me get the video for you from YouTube. All right, so I'm gonna paste that in and click on embed video. Great, and you're gonna notice this is like the review for SEMrush, so I do wanna put this right here. So this is a perfect example where say we're talking about it and then of course if they wanted to watch more, they can do that. Also, if this is like you know a little bit too much space after having it being embedded there, we can change that around. So anything else that we wanna add, let's say we did wanna add a picture. Let's go right here, let's say this one is really bad. Let's just click on it and we can do delete. And what we can do is image here. And we have our site files, it has the one that was created, but let's just say we wanna to go to Unsplash and we're gonna do something like marketing, right? Something related to that. I think this looks fine. I'm just gonna go with this one. I'm gonna do add to page. Okay, and I believe that's the spot where it was. That looks so much better because it's not all AI'd and crazy and anything like that. So uh, anything else that if you did wanna add, files, GIFs, videos, it's mostly just drag and drop or click on it, you know, embed, add the picture, add the image. I think you get the idea there, right? We also have our featured image, which once again, I didn't think that was a great one, so we can say delete here or remove. I don't want that one either, given the fact it's my thumbnail, so let's say we wanna update. And once again, we can go to Unsplash. I'm just gonna look for the same one. We have marketing again, and I'm gonna use that same one that we used previously, so let's do that. Add the page. And there we go, we now have a new featured image. So we have published date. You know, I'm gonna be just doing that now as we go. We have an excerpt to kind of give you an idea of what it's all about. So 
How about this? I'm gonna copy this in here. Let's do like some must have tools that will undoubtedly elevate your blog to new heights. Okay, if we have any related posts, we can do that. This is gonna be the first one. So, you know, probably not gonna have anything related in the beginning until you add more, right? So you can allow commenting on this post. Sure, you can feature it too if you want. Probably gonna be your best one. Let's go over here to categories because this is important. So we can click on create category. So this is about say must have tools for your blog success. So this can be under software. Okay, let's do the checkbox right here. And this could also say be like blogging, right? But let's also say this is gonna be under something, let's see, something related like plugins. And let's say you spell it wrong and you do something like that and you hit check. And you're like, oh no, how do I get rid of that? I'm gonna show you that. So I'm just gonna keep it there for now. I'm just gonna uncheck it, okay? Everything else looks pretty good. What I'm gonna do here is click publish. Okay, we'll do maybe later there. And you're gonna notice how it says to see your post live, first publish your site, which is fine. Okay, so let's dismiss this. Let's go back here and let's go to publish our website. Great, it is done. So what we can do is actually just preview it. And there's gonna be our blog post, which we just had with our video as well. We have our newer image right there, and that's gonna be the specific blog post. Pretty simple stuff, right? So, and you'll notice how it has the categories here. And once again, I spelled that wrong purposely, because you might look at it and say, well, now that I added that in, maybe I wanna delete it, maybe I spelled it wrong. How can I go about changing that? Here's how that's done. Once again, let's go back to manage posts. You're gonna be using this a lot, obviously, when you add a new post. It's just a quicker way to get to the dashboard where your post section's going to be. And if you'll notice on the left side, we have categories as well. And there we are, plugins, all right? We don't want that. So what we can do is edit it, right? Or maybe we do want it. So we can change it around and we can just change it to plugins and spell it properly. You can add a description too if you want. You can add images. I'm just gonna keep, that's pretty simple, right? Add a description, add a page, excuse me, add an image to that section, click on save. And perfect. And what we can do also, say like, eh, maybe I don't wanna create a category about plugins. You can just go right here and you can delete it completely. So that's gonna be how you can kind of maneuver around, change around your categories so that anytime you create a post, you can add them to these specific categories. And of course, if you're gonna be doing a lot of blog posts, for example, for me, one might be like lead generation, one might be website creation, one could be blogging like we have here, YouTube marketing, one could be TikTok marketing, social media marketing, it can just go on and on and on. So it's always easy to create them in the beginning so you know what you're gonna be creating stuff about in the future. But nevertheless, that's going to conclude this Wix blog tutorial. Let's show you show it off one more time. All right, so that's just going to be the front page. Remember, we just like changed around the top and the bottom there. And of course, what we can do is go to the specific blog if needed, just to show you what this looks like. And there we go. It talks about two minutes. That's going to be able to read. There we are. It's a two minute read. We have our video here where we can play this. I'm gonna pause it so it doesn't talk over me. And then of course we have our image, we have the rest of it, someone can comment if needed. And that's gonna do that. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. And remember the beginning is just kind of fixing what I like to say the skeleton or the template of your website. Get your header right, your footer right, everything else on the front page. You know, like you can change around your about page too if needed. You can add your social links if needed, but from then on out, it's simply like creating your categories in your blog post and making some changes within them where you can keep adding to them You know, for as long as you want. If you got any value out of this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up as it helps me out a lot as well. But my name is James. Thank you so much for watching this Wix blog tutorial and I'll see you in my next video.